fans, it's Chet from Tag Along with Chet. And yeah, I, I bit the bullet. I, uh, I bought a new battery for my airplane. And that's what I bought right there, a Concord aircraft battery. This aircraft battery's got um, airplane price written all over it. So uh, it, was, uh, it was expensive enough as it was, especially up here in Canada. Anyway, I got it at a wholesale dealer uh, in, uh, in Lethbridge and uh, I think I got a pretty good deal on it. Now this is what I used to have. It's the uh, the Gill. Okay, now this is uh, an older battery that I've had and I've kept it down here. The uh, one I'm replacing is identical to this one and uh, uh, they must have had a, uh, a bad batch because um, I, uh, I've only had that one in there for a year and a half and uh, yeah, I bought it down in San Diego down uh, over one of the uh, aircraft uh, distributors out there for parts and uh, yeah it uh, it lasted about a year and a half uh, before it started running into all sorts of problems so anyway uh, we'll uh, we'll try the Concorde out this one here this time around and we'll see uh, what happens now, see uh, I, I, I found this neat little thing in my toolbox uh, sometimes uh, in the um, uh, once you get this thing mounted in the uh, aircraft battery uh, box it's always hard to swing a wrench around and the wrench is always hitting something that's also metal so you got to be a little careful but I found this thing and this is actually sort of a plastic and uh, it um, it just fits on it's a half inch and uh, just fits on there like that and if you wanted to uh, you know just put a little uh, a screwdriver or something in there to kind of torque it or a little metal thing and uh, you can actually bend it a bit so these kind uh, they're kind of nice uh, they're not like the wing nuts that are uh, are on here these are strictly half inch screws that are on here or uh, bolts that are on here anyway uh, I'm gonna go to the airplane now and I'm gonna install it and we'll see what happens so okay, see you out there. here's the battery I'm just getting it out of the car here now so what I'll do is I'll take the old one out first and then we'll put this one in Okay, so I got the back seat up here. It's being held up by my handy dandy nose bar or uh, yeah, nose uh, nose gear puller here. Whatever they call these things. Anyway, we'll just undo these wing nuts here and remove the battery. Okay, the uh, as you can see, I got the lid off. I'm a little concerned over this though. I'm not quite sure what this is going to do. I think that sits on top of something. Yeah, that sits on top of this section. So I don't know what the other battery, what it's got. I'm just going to okay, check the uh, battery terminals wires have been removed. Now I'm going to remove this old battery. And you can see the new battery was installed April 5th, 2014. And that's uh, it's like a week away. Suck her out of here. Okay, so the new one is in there, as you can see. And uh, now with my handy dandy tool here, I can just take the, the nut out. And take this nut out. Okay, as you can see, I got the battery terminals all connected. I'm going to get rid of this later on. That's my uh, solar panel hookup, and I don't need that anymore. And uh, now this goes on here. Okay, so that should be a, just a normal. There we go. And then we'll put the wing nuts back on again. Sorry, wrong wing nuts. Uh, there and oh yeah, okay here's the other one okay so okay, I got and, the lid back on the wing nuts are tight okay and uh, I've removed my solar panel connection okay so all I'm gonna do now is uh, just turn the master switch on and it should go clunk okay so that's a nice solid clunk so 
that should be working now. So I'll just put her all, put the seats back, and uh, we'll go flying. See how it works out. I think we're gonna go flying now. Let's. Uh, so uh, welcome on board, folks. Uh, it's been an uphill battle here with the uh, darn battery issues, but uh, I think uh, hopefully uh, the bit of money I put into it. Well, it's not a bit. It's quite a bit. <laughs> Uh, that I'll put into it uh, is going to uh, is going to remedy the problem. Seat belts on, flight controls are free and correct. This is normal stuff, guys. Yeah, but it's got to be done. The avionics, okay. Let's turn that sucker on. That's on one twenty three zero, which is the Unicom frequency. That's the Calgary Atis which I'll be picking up later. I'll put the transponder on standby. Put my Bendix King aviator. High River traffic, uniform Yankee Whiskey, five miles west, 5,000 feet, land in High River, we'll overfly at 5,000, check the wind side. Yeah, it's all over the place. Gee whiz, I don't know, it's from the south, then it's from the southeast, then it's from the southwest. Uh, anyway. Mixture, okay, rich, okay, uh, okay, vacuum, okay. All right, here we go. Cherokee Charlie Charlie November. We're taxiing uh, from the ramp and uh, we'll be uh, waiting on landing traffic uh, for uh, runway 07. And the High River Traffic Uniform Yankee Whiskey is turning final for 07 High River. And uniform, uh, whatever, <laughs> the RV. I'll uh, backtrack as soon as you uh, land there. I'll backtrack for 07. Sounds good. Hi, River Traffic. Charlie Charlie November is entering the backtrack for 07. Transponder, okay, parking brake, pedo heat, lights, mixture, doors, windows. Okay, let's go. Alright, let's go here. Okay. High River traffic, Charlie Charlie, November, departing runway 07. It'll be a straight out departure. High River. 